Got a call from an old friend a couple weekends back. It was good to hear the voice, an old compadre of mine, Ramblin' Jack. Said he was having a drink in my honor. I had one in his. Anyway, that's how the conversation started. Well, he was Alaska bound for glory once again and invited me to tag along and open up some shows and pick some Mississippi John. Yeah, our guru, the Delta Blues, he passed on some years ago. Jack presented me a photo of John backstage at our first show up in Fairbanks. Said he'd been saving that photo of John, been collecting dust for many years. And what I couldn't say with words right then I most certainly later did with tears And not because it's an original Jim Marshall photo Autographed and all Not because I couldn't wait to get him home Hang old John on the wall But because he said he was waiting for the right place And the right time And the right person to pass that photo on so I picked up that 8 by 10 and carried him down darkened hall to a stage we stepped up on. Sat him down beside me. I gave the audience the news. With him there grinning, I started picking as John heard funeral blues. Well, halfway through the song, I spotted Jack in the back of the room. He was kicking up his heels. Knowing well that he just gave me a taste How it sometimes feels To share the stage with a kindred soul That of Mississippi John Yeah, there was this whittled from the same The legends are built up on All the trials and tribulations And the sounds of men who feel The pain and indignation of knowing what's real, what's not. All the important things that the history books manage to leave out along the way. The storytellers, they tell their tale. Leave little doubt that it probably happened that way. Well, Guy Clark and Vernon Thompson would also be there too. And having them all in one room was like a dream for me come true. It was quite a thing to hear guys singing love songs for Susanna And Verlin playing the guitar like a monkey on a banana It's the only analogy I can think of And I swear it ain't no joke If a note were worth a clean red cent You'd never find old Verlin broke Well after the show I loaded up the guitars in the back of the van and headed down the road. Midnight was the hour, foggy, dark, and blowing cold. And I was nuts for driving out that night, but that show still had me wired. But before I left, old Ram and Jack, he told me of a truck stop if I got tired. And for Jack, for those of you who don't know Jack, Truck stops are a sovereign, sacred place. He spent some time in most of them. His highway is saving grace. And for truckers and pickers and hitchers to come in from the cold, cold night. And occasionally even pilots who get weathered out of flight. Well, I got buzzed by an owl twice and I surprised a coyote. Caught a fox in my headlights, but I didn't see any kangaroos, so I kept on going. Past the truck stop. Well, I did get tired, but I made it home to talk heat around 4 a.m. Took a nap. Fed the dog, walked the dog, watered the dog, and hugged the dog. By noon, was on the road again to 
the Performing Arts Center in Anchorage, the big top, for a weekend warrior like me anyway. Well, the audience there was told the flashing cameras were not allowed, except the one I used on stage to take a picture of the crowd. It was the only time I saw them was when that camera bulb lit up. Then I took a sip of water, found Jack's whiskey in the cup, and I gasped. Played a train song for a singing conductor I know. Then I played the John Hurt Funeral Blues to open up the show. Soon I introduced old Ramblin' Jack Elliott. Thanked him once again for giving me a little taste of the world he lives in. And no one ever living could ever fill his shoes. The man who taught me how to play the John Hurt Funeral Blues. And did you ever? Stop and shiver Just because You were looking At a river Thanks Jack It's in your honor